can I stop you real quick? I apologize. Go ahead. I just yeah, saw this comment. <sighs> some of you, some of you can't walk in a strong wind, let alone throw a football in a strong wind. Like, I don't know if you guys were in Tallahassee, but one, it was cold as hell. Yes. One, and it was wind gusts. And I'm not making this like, – again, I don't – guys, the quarterbacks are the quarterbacks. That's it. It's not – it's like a it's, – nothing's going to change. Dan – hold on. Charlie Ward ain't walking through that tunnel. Jameis Winston ain't walking through that tunnel. And, they, and they, guess what? They're not going to be in the transfer portal either. We got what we got. I've gone to a – I've gone to UGA's practice. I actually dropped the bar today that a lot of Jags fans and Aiden Hutchinson fans don't necessarily care for, having heard it from Georgia coach. Stetson Bennett just won a national championship. I heard the coaches on the loudspeaker, hey, we've got to go into the indoor because it's a strong win and Stetson can't throw in the win. <laughs> like, guys, it's like – difficult like the running that's why you ran the ball now there's drop season stuff like that that happened but like damn just relax man relax guys like you don't know you're not a quarterback coach most of y'all don't even know what you're looking at like you're you are this is about what bothers me you're regurgitating information from guys who are regurgitating information from other guys most people don't know how to this is why i said on fifth quarter and i don't know if there's an echo i'm sorry if there is but I said this on fifth quarter. We are going to do a drawing. And when they have practices here in Jacksonville, I am going to take one or two fans to a practice so that you can actually watch a damn practice like a football, like a real football player. Not an analyst, not a journalist, like a football player. So you can see this stuff, and now you can see with your own eyes what it's like in real time to make these reads. Because – on God, a lot of you guys, like, if I could pay money, like, if I could, like, get you that experience for one day of practice to let you, to put you in the quarterback shoes, not even the quarterback shoes, put you in the running back, fullback, whatever, so that you can see how it's not a video game. It's not PlayStation. Like, I'm my bad. The stuff is hard, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm my bad. Go ahead, Lord. Damn, Jim, Jim's brought the fire on that one. I like that. that. That's yeah. awesome. Damn. I think the other thing we suffer from is watching Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady throw every Sunday, and everybody expects everyone – like, they expect every quarterback in the country to throw like that. Well, and people forget for as good as Charlie Ward was in the Heisman Trophy season of 1993, in 1992 he struggled. Chris Winkie struggled in 1998 and then went on to win a national title in 99 and a Heisman Trophy in 2000. You struggled at the start. If you're saying that the, the Jordan Travis, and I know this is what we're talking about, Jordan Travis is what everyone's gonna is what everyone's critiquing. Is this Jordan Travis in the spring of 2022 better than the Jordan Travis we saw in the fall of 2020? Yes, and that's what matters is that he's improving. Is he going to win the Heisman this year? Hell no. Is he going to win a national title this year? Hell no. Is he going to be a better quarterback than he was in 2020? Yes, and that to me is fine. Yeah. Now we'll see. I think, too, you know, it's still building chemistry with some of these wide receivers, too, is going to be key. But, you know, you saw Johnny Wilson, who was lighting it up during the spring and had a few drop balls, um, which wasn't like him at all this spring. And that's been a problem for him back in the Arizona State, something that hurt him quite a bit. And, you know, he comes here to get an option with Florida State. And you got to hope, too, when it comes to game time, those things get fixed. You know, he's going to be a threat midfield, um, red zone. But, you know, those drops, those drops aren't going to help anything or you're just not going to simply play. Um, I thought Micah Pittman looked really impressive. It was kind of um, – wasn't fun seeing him have to leave the game just for a little bit. But once he came back in, he got to see how Florida State's really going to utilize him. I think that was one thing that we got to take away. You know, got to see how Trey Benson and, and how the factor of him in there with, as being a power back can be. But he also – has really good vision and can go off to the side too. Um, this is just not a third down back. You put him in and then you don't see him again until your next third down. He's a guy that can play all three potential four downs if needed, just because of how, how conditioned he is. And I thought he had, you know, the most impressive day maybe uh, out of the entire spring game. And that was a, 
funny sign to see because of Florida State fans going absolutely crazy once, uh, once you know, there was some word that, you know, he was going to be coming to FSU and FSU fans are freaking out and such. But it goes to show, you know, Florida State, Mike Norvell in particular, know how to inspect some of these guys and, you know, do their homework on them. And it seems like he's going to be utilized quite a bit and, and heavily uh, on this offense. But, you know, the quarterbacks overall had a rough day. You know, they started off in goal line package like they did uh, during spring camp, uh, the start practices. And, you know, you saw interceptions. It's either you take it one way, you say, oh, well, DB suck. Uh, oh, the quarterback sucks. So I'm taking it more. I feel a little bit more comfortable on the quarterback side of things, you know, watching camp and such. Uh, you know, Jordan Travis has been one of the players, one of the quarterbacks that hasn't been throwing a lot of interceptions. Um, and so it's rare to see him throw those interceptions. So I, I think things are going to be, I think things are, are a little, a little bit better on that offensive side, at least quarterback from QB one. I'm not too sold yet on QB two and QB three or whoever is going to be QB two, but you know, I'm not too, not too worried uh, about uh, Jordan Travis. 